this video i'm going to talk about dengue virus replication and pathophysiology of dengue so here we have a man of a tropical country and we will see how this man will get affected by the dengue so dengue is most common in the tropical areas not in the temperate regions so say for instance this is a man from a tropical region and here is a mosquito who bites the man and thus the dengue is transmitted to the body of this man so the uh, mosquito for the dengue virus transmission is called Aedes aegypti Aedes aegypti so when the mosquito bites when the mosquito bites with uh, its saliva it injects the dengue virus so here we have or what we call we have the epidermis the epidermis region beneath that we have the dermis region here the dengue virus is injected by this mosquito and there are some dendritic cells beneath uh, this dermi epidermis region in the dermis we have some dendritic cell this is our epidermis and we also have some macrophages denoting as msi and we are denoting it as tc also what we have we have granule secreting basophils we have basophils so what happens this dengue virus Will actually infect the dendritic cell or the macrophages so dendritic cell has a particular type of cell receptor called the DC sign and the macrophages has a particular type of receptor uh, which are mannose type receptor MR mannose type receptor so this dengue virus can actually get inside the dendritic cell via either of these two receptors and once and we will look in details how the uh, dengue virus get inside and cause harm to these kind of cells however when these cells are harmed it will migrate to the uh, lymphoid system to alarm the immune cells so this dendritic cell is affected this dendritic cell is affected so as the macrophage is also affected here so they will migrate by this lymph capi uh, the, uh, the lymph capillary the lymph vessel they will migrate via this lymph vessel and go to other lymphoid organ uh, organs and this is how the infection got spread into the uh, systemic circulation so when these uh, macrophages are infected and these dendritic cells are infected they will secrete some interferons both of them will secrete some interferons so actually these interferons work like a cytotoxic alarm so what happened beneath the dermis where we have uh, capillaries uh, from these capillaries from these capillaries uh, the immune cells like our cytotoxic T cell that is CD plus cytotoxic T cell and also the uh, NK cells the natural killer cells will come off into the dermis region so here I am drawing a capillary you can see the uh, capillary cells here are the capillary cells so these uh, from these capillary cells the natural killer cells will come out and also 
the CD8 plus T cells will come out and these two cells together will mount an inflammatory response. Uh, so we have seen that uh, from here in dengue, uh, the dengue virus is now in our systemic circulation and now it can move throughout the body. Uh, it can go into the liver, it can go into other organs, it can encounter all other immune cells and it has been seen that uh, the dengue virus is not specific towards any receptor. So it can use uh, multiple receptors and can get inside a cell. For instance, it can recognize DC sign as well as it can recept, uh, uh, It can also recognize the mannose type receptors. It can also uh, sense other type of receptors. So its uh, cells that are infected by this dengue virus are quite broad. So here we would see uh, the structure of the dengue virus a uh, little bit. So here we have the dengue virus. So deng dengue virus comes under the family Flaviviridae. Uh, these Flaviviridae are plus strand, uh, single stranded RNA, uh, RNA viruses. And these single stranded RNA get inside the cell and are uh, got uh, uh, converted into negative stranded RNA. And then again to the plus stranded RNA. So here we have some proteins, metric proteins called E proteins. Another type of proteins we call C proteins. So these kind of structures are common for all families of all the member of the family of Flaviviridae. So what here we have uh, the single strand RNA genome and if we just uh, draw some genomic features of these uh, uh, the dengue virus we will see that it has a 5 prime end UTR where it has loop like structures a lot of hairpins after that it has its uh, so this is 5 prime UTR then it has a lot of coding region this is the ORF I'm not specifying all the proteins that are encoded by this ORF but I'm just generally telling it it is ORF and then it has what we called a 3 prime region and 3 prime region it has a lot of hairpins this is 3 prime so uh, this is 5 prime so this is 3 prime UTR it has a lot of hairpins so just to, gen uh, just to recapitulate what is the uh, uh, genomic features of this virus so it has a linear ssrna genome and definitely that is plus sense uh, that means this rna what i'm i have drawn here could be directly used by the cell to produce protein structural proteins and so its size is uh, somehow like 9.7 to 12 kilobase pairs three prime end don't have poly a tail but have hairpin and 5 prime end have 3 hydroxy methyl cap now uh, as this is the uh, common features we have looked in now we will see how uh, these a DENV how this dengue virus how this dengue virus can get inside to this uh, macrophage or say this dendritic cell and can replicate and can multiply dengue is also known as uh, dengue is also known as breakbone fever uh, because what happens in dengue it's a severe joint pain so here I'm drawing the leg of this individual so here uh, you can see in these uh, joints such as this joint of femur and the lower limb severe joint pain is one of the characteristic of this fever in this dengue fever
So now, now let's zoom into another cell and see, uh, let's zoom into the macrophage and see how dengue can affect it. So here we have the cell membrane. Here we have the cell membrane. And uh, surprisingly, no specific receptor against uh, dengue virus was reported. It appears that dengue can use a lot of receptors like DC signs, like um, Manos type receptor, they can use lectins. So for instance, this, this is the dengue virus and it's attached to this uh, cell surface receptor. After attaching to this uh, particular cell surface receptor, after attaching to this particular cell surface receptor, what happened? Clathrin mediated endocytosis will take place. So clathrin mediated endocytosis will take place. Here is the clathrin coat all around the endocytosized vesicle. And what happened? There is a pH which is less than 7. That means the environment is acidic inside the vesicle. So in this condition, the surface E proteins that I have discussed earlier would undergo conformational change. And this E protein will actually bind to the you know, surface of these vesicles and actually release the mRNA, the, the actually the genome, genomic material. That means the single-stranded RNA. Once released, the plus strand SSRNA gets converted into the negative strand SSRNA. Using this negative strand as a template, it is again converted into more SSRNA. And this uh, replicated SSRNA would be later used as a viral genomic material. So what happens, some of the plus RNA, SSRNA, sits upon the ribosome and synthesize protein and this protein gets inside the rough endoplasmic reticulum where they gathers together forming the matrix actually a polyprotein is first formed and after po from the polyprotein they are cleaved into small protein units structural proteins and other proteins so it will get inside this rough endoplasmic reticulum and here the protein of the virus the matrix protein would be assembled here and then what happened the vesicle containing these virus and here we have the genomic material also would get inside the Golgi network. Here in the Golgi network, this virus would be prepared, packaged and ready to be delivered to other cell. So in this uh, budding vesicle, the virus is totally ready with its genomic material. So this virus gets totally ready and enveloped and here you can see the virus is released and ready to infect uh, other cells and when another mosquito with uh, which doesn't infected with the virus actually takes up the meal from uh, infected person this virus get inside another mosquito uh, one thing to be noted that uh, these dengue virus also reside in the salivary gland of the mosquito. Uh, that is why these dengue virus can be transmitted to host uh, to host that means the humans when it bites a human. So as per summary we have seen that dengue virus comes under the family of uh, flaviviridae and its main vector is the mosquito Aedes aegypti and this virus uh, mediated uh, dengue fever is most common in the tropical areas the warm areas and uh, mainly the immune cells are affected not a single type of cell multiple cells could be affected the mechanism is exactly not known the receptors of which dengue virus choose it also not known but uh, the dengue virus use multiple receptors like dc sign and uh, macrophages the 
uh, mannose receptor etc and it ultimately gets circulated into the systemic circulation however this dengue virus has uh, the structural feature of dengue virus is e protein which help in fusion in the latter part of the cell uh, the replication cycle and uh, the viral the, the viral genome is single stranded rna in a positive sense and the symmetry of the virus is icosahedral symmetry and the virus how it infects i have already talked about it in detail the most important event is that the ph mediated conformational change of the surface glycoprotein e which helps this virus to get docked into the uh, vesicle surrounding it and uh, um, releasing its genomic material that means the single strand rna the rest of the process goes as if uh, from the er to golgi and then the virus is packaged and released and now virus is ready to infect other cell Hope you liked it, enjoy it and thank you, please subscribe.